Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, then welcome guys. I post every week. Hopefully I try to post every week. But if you are a regular subscriber, uh, then welcome back. I'm so excited you guys are here again. And to be honest, like as you guys can see from the title below, I'm doing something that's been on the internet. People have been doing this for a while now. They've been copying some artists. But today I'm going to be copying Kim Kardashian West and I'm gonna see how her technique uh, the way she does her makeup looks on my face honestly when I saw the video I was like girl her techniques are super different than what I usually do I like make sure I prep and I prime and all that good stuff but she just right went into the whole look so I want to see how that turns out to be for me and as you guys can see I have no lashes nothing on like mm -mm, girl it's all like she is she just came like real like she just came out of nowhere and I'm like here and with a no makeup nothing on so I'm super excited to see how this looks turns out to be if you guys want to see how this look turns out to be then please continue watching like I said if you are new to my channel then welcome please don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, let's get into the video <laughs> here now I'm you I'm watching the Vogue um, yeah I'm watching the Vogue tutorial super excited okay so first things first she moisturizes her face I will also do that I'm taking the pure simply pure um, hydrating serum and I'm just gonna apply a little bit because I can't even see like what she's using. Obviously, like I'm not gonna be using all exactly the same products because I don't have them. Surprisingly, I didn't even try uh, KKW Beauty makeup ever. Like I never, I don't have anything that's from her. Of course, I have from Kylie. But then when I saw from Kylie, I was kind of like disappointed. I mean, I like her products and stuff, but. I don't think so it's all that that they save so I was like you know I think Kim is probably just you know marketing it super well but I don't want to buy that shit so like like I said so I don't have her I don't have her products but of of course of course I love her to be honest she is like the OG honestly when I met makeup by Mario I was like shook it I was like is this the guy who touches Kim Kardashian's face? I cried and that picture is like on like I have that picture It's like always stick on there and it's such an iconic pictures Picture because I'm like crying and makeup by Mario is just there And then like I asked him if I could take a selfie with him and I did hopefully I'm gonna post somewhere here if I can and Like I have that selfie, but it's probably really ugly. So I'm not gonna post it but I don't know how I feel about that. So I remember crying the first time I met Makeup by Mario. I know some of you would be like, girl, what the hell? But for me, it's emotional because like I grew up looking at like Kim and she's been my idol for a long time. I was like, girl, like she is the boss. She's been doing wonderful things. Like, of course, like some people like look down upon her and stuff. But I feel like she works hard. Like no matter how much you say, she doesn't have talent i feel like she works hard and that's what i feel also guys don't mind my background my my younger siblings are just around playing and stuff so like i i apologize for that but yeah they're little cute little nuggets just playing so i am just here making a tutorial okay let's get back to the video extra moisturize even if i'm already moisturized for the day i put on moisturizer again and i Damage. Mac, please continue to make the 180. They just continue to. 
Okay. So I'm gonna be using uh, the Dolce & Gabbana foundation and I'm also using the Morphe brush. It is kind of like a kabuki brush. I usually don't use this stuff on my face, but like, yeah, I mean, since Kim is using it, I've got to use it and see how it works. This one is in, well, look, this one is in M439, so let's get into it. I'm just gonna warm it on my fingers, on my palms, and just like apply it, just how she did and see how it works she is really taking it in like she's just getting in there she did not use a beauty blender so i'm not going to use that use the new brush put foundation all over and like this like little end because i can just like go over my eyes with the foundation so once that's like all blended i mean i can go in and those psoriasis spots. Okay, I still need you to. You see that I always kind of go back to this brush. I don't know why I'm obsessed with it. But brows, I use an Anastasia. Girl, hold on a second. Let me, hold on a second. Let me get into my foundation. Let me like really cover up everything that's on my face. Uh, I mean, hopefully I'm getting it right. Yeah. I feel like it looks Perfect. I kind of like this brush now that I'm using it. Alright guys, I am done getting my foundation. I'm done with my foundation. I have quite blended in. Uh, of course, like, a beauty blender will literally go in. But this is just the way Kim used it. And I'm going to do exactly what Kim did. And I'm going to try to cover some spots here. Just a bit. And blend that in. Like I said, I quite like this brush now that I'm using it on my face. I feel like it's cool. Like, I like how it's blending in with this foundation, with this particular foundation. So, my skin's quite acting up nowadays because it's that time of the month. And I'm just here like, mm, girl, like, should I make a tutorial because my skin's acting up? And then like, oh. And then like, I'm just here like, you know what, let's just do it. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. I've already like missed two weeks. I haven't uploaded something and I wanted to really come out here and upload some stuff for my subscribers because I know y'all been like, probably waiting on me. I don't know, but yeah. Okay. So the next step that Kim does is her brows and for the brows, I don't even know what she used. She used Anastasia. In the 90s, I would, in high school, make my brows so thin. Drew Barrymore was my everything inspiration. Before I really powder and set everything, I used Okay, my so she did her brows like probably with a brow pomade, but yeah, I'm gonna do the same exact stuff. Okay, so I'm doing my brows and um, she just brushed it like upwards and I guess she just put some color Towards it. She wasn't going really major on the brows. So am I I'm not gonna go really like All cuckoo with my brows because I don't even need to I mean, it's just there. So I'm just gonna apply some color to it So yeah This makeup look is really taking me back to when I started doing my makeup I was just like you know there I was just like you know put the foundation on and that's that's all you got to do but yeah it's uh, quite different like after after doing such a thing after such a long time because I've been like having different routines before putting up my foundation but this girl is like literally getting me back to 2000 and uh, 2000 and I guess 15 yeah I'm gonna so we're gonna do Conceal Face Brighten. Okay. Okay. So she's using her own brand. Like I said, I don't have anything that's from her brand. I'm gonna use the ColourPop's concealer. And really like do exactly what she's doing. Warm up my 
doing my makeup just in the mirror or on the go, I take a sponge and I use this Toshin. I'm going to kind of take the concealer and put it up on my eye too. Okay, when you are a mom, you have no time to blend like this. Hey guys, so she took a beauty blender. I'm taking mine. This is by Tarte. And I'm spraying some setting spray and probably like gonna blend that in. I've heard really good stuff about her concealer and I was like, you know, I wanna try it. But then I, like I said, like just for a concealer, I'm not gonna like go and like, you know what I mean? Okay, so now she's baking her face. I'm gonna use my, like I said, she's just using her product right now. I'm gonna be using the Kraolin baking powder and uh, I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and. All right guys, as you guys can see, I'm done baking and what she does next is contour. And I wanna see where all she contours. I always do the darker color on my forehead. She has just done the usual contour and now I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. Wow, my hands are literally tired at this point. Like, look at the contouring. I guess I used a dark shade. Problem area, if I don't have that powder, oh my god, I could look like I have like lines. Like, you guys don't even understand. I kind of like go in a three, like this, like that and down. Like that and down. That's my trick. And I just kind of get into the hair. When you see a little hole like that, you know North was here. North loves eyeshadow and blush, highlighter, stuff that's like powdery that she can get into with a brush and ruin it. That's like, she has such a heavy hand, she's so aggressive. I am gonna start with this shade, it's like a really... So I'm gonna use this shade by the Morphe brush and I'm gonna see how it looks because it's kind of similar to what she's using. Really pretty neutral. Start with the smoke. So usually, I don't really do a crazy smoky eye myself, but I really like how my makeup artists do it because they're so amazing, but I'm gonna do it for you guys today. Okay. Kim, you're doing a good job. So now I'm gonna use the lighter color, which is kind of at the brow bone. Ooh, I used way too much. Okay, there we go, there we go. Fingers help. So I like went way too far, you guys. So I'm gonna try to clean it up. Bronze bow. Hold on a second, Kim. Let me like keep up with you. And then she kind of smoked her under eye and that's what I'm gonna do. I need my under eyes always smoked because I don't know, I just feel like I look really naked without it. So regardless, even if I'm doing a light look, I just always smoke it with contour. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is... All right, guys, I'm using the same exact stuff that she used by Sila. And I need my under eyes always smoked. And I already smoked my under eyes. I feel like I look really naked without it, so regardless... You did it? Doing a yeah. look, I just always smoke it with contour. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I really like this Stila bronze bow. Right down the center of the eye. 
So the next shade that she's using is something similar to this, this one. Color. And I'm gonna just take one color. color. Got her hands in, and I'm just and gonna kind of like put my finger on top right there. with my finger. Yes. And just kind of rub, because this color is like a really oh pretty. God. This is super, super, super intense. Next, I am going to line the inner eyes with black. All right, guys, she does not wear lashes and she's not wearing lashes in this. Obviously, I don't have like as gorgeous lashes as Kim K. So I'm going to be applying my lashes and some mascara on and then be right back. So then I'm going to curl my lashes and I love this lash curler by Troy Seurat. Really gets in there. All my makeup artists are like they die. They're like, how do you get so? Just applied my lashes and now I'm gonna go in with the with my mascara. This is the Tarte mascara and I am just gonna like put some mascara underneath on my lower lash. So as you guys can see, I've like already applied my mascara under on my lower lash and then I'm gonna like let that like dry up probably like it needs to dry up so I'm just gonna let it dry. So now she's like cleaning up her under eye and I'm gonna, okay girl. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Rodeal uh, brightening powder and I'm just gonna like... I am removing and also removing and also brightening my powder, my under eye with the powder. But, she, but like, did she contour her nose? I don't even know, did I miss that step? Because I can't go without contouring my nose, I gotta con contour. I, I need to contour my nose Kim K so I, I'm gonna do that even like I don't know I, I gotta do that like did she contour her nose or no like did I miss that part probably I missed that part I don't know guys I'm done with my face probably so is she like we're done with our face like we're done with our face so now I'm gonna like check out the step that she's doing. She's so taking a dark really lip liner and kind of filling it in right there. And it just, I don't know, I love 90s glam. So I know this looks really dark because there's kind of that con concealer foundation on my lip. And I just kind of blend the lip liner with my finger. And then always remember, clean your hand before you go. So I'm gonna use Classic Icon 2. My all-time favorite blush is NARS Orgasm. Dark liner. So instead of making my cupid's bow really defined, I'm kind of filling it in right there. And I just, I don't know, I love this. Down. She just contoured her nose now. Ooh, always do the underneath of your nose. And a little on top. You know who taught me that? Nikki Tutorials. Do you guys know her? Makes your nose look so cute and little. The last and final step is highlighter, and I'm gonna use the Kylie palette, the Kylie that she did with my mom. And it says you're doing amazing, sweetie, of course. Um, I kind of mix a little bit. I love big palettes like this. I just do like down my nose. I should have done this earlier on my upper lip, but sometimes if I forget, the lips a little too dark, I think, one side. This is one, my nude one. I'm gonna use a little bit of gloss. This is the final holiday smoky look with a little bit of glitz and glam. I really surprised myself. I'm not a makeup artist, they never claim. 
Okay, girl, like, I gotta put on some, some gloss. So guys, this is the end of my makeup look. I hope you guys liked yes. it. I was like, kind of like, I don't know if I'm gonna like keep up with this, but if you guys liked what I came up with, because I feel like the lips are a little different than what she did. And yeah, I mean, eyes are probably similar. I did follow, I did follow Kim K and her techniques. I pretty much love the way she did the foundation and everything. It pretty much, it looks really nice. I mean, I like the highlight and everything. It's like super like 90s, but like still modern. And I love it so much, to be honest. Like everything is dead job, well, dead job gorgeous, seriously. And yeah, I mean, I think I'm gonna go out with this. Like, it looks a pretty dope. I mean, like, if you can see, this is the final look. I'm like living for this shit. Seriously, if you guys like it, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye.